Welcome back, it's me, Catherine, and I'm in the kitchen. Today we are working through another one of our cookies to our 25 days of Christmas cookies. Um, today we are making one of my mother's favorites, which is Snickerdoodles. Super simple cookie, such a great flavor though. So what we wanna start out with is our mixing bowl and one small bowl to the side. We don't need an actual big one to miss kind of whisk in. In our big bowl though, what we want to do is start off with one cup of shortening. So I've got my shortening already measured out here. And then we need to add in some sugar. So sugar, we want one and a half cups. So we've got one and a half cups here. And we'll go ahead and start mixing that together. And while that's creaming together, we are going to go ahead and get some of our dry ingredients together. We need one teaspoon of cream of tartar, which if you've never heard of cream of tartar, like I had never a few years ago, it is uh, in the spice aisle, looks just like it. Cream of tartar, uh, we needed one teaspoon, I already put in here. We need one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm using a half today, so I needed two little things there. And then one teaspoon of salt. And since a few videos ago I accidentally dumped the salt, I am extra careful to maybe not put it right over my already mixed ingredients. So we've got this here, and we're just going to give it a quick stir. You know? My shortening and sugar are mixing together very nicely. What I want to do is crack two eggs in there. So there's one, two, and while that is whisking together, I am going to slowly make sure that I don't dump this everywhere. And then I just slowly add it into my mixture here. All right, and it's that simple folks. That's all the ingredients you make to need, all you need to make snickerdoodles. So we've got this mixing up quite nicely. I was completely incorrect because we need flour, of course. I was looking at this going, this does not look right. I forgot my flour that is over here. We need quite a bit of it. We need two cups and a three fourths cup. So two and three fourths cup. I left my measuring cup in the sugar. I promise I have things together a little bit. So I'm just gonna slowly add this here into my mix. So that's one cup. Slowly add in my second cup. The best thing, didn't do it slowly enough. We'll just push that back in, nobody needs to know. And then I need three fourths cup. It's gonna start getting a little bit thicker and that is what we want. So that is perfect. Get our flour out of the way here. And what I'll do next is go ahead and stop my mixer. I'm gonna press all this dough. I'll be right back. I am back. I apologize. Uh, yeah, when there's a hungry baby, there's a hungry baby. Cookies will wait. Um, what I have done though is I've just brought my bowl of cookie dough. I've kind of taken everything off the uh, blade of the mixer. Everything's in my bowl. I've given it a quick stir with my spatula, making sure all the ingredients are really well kind of incorporated and it looks just like that. Um, a nice plain mix. Um, I love eating cookie dough. This is not a great cookie dough. It's not very sweet at all. It's kind of plain, but that is why we have this bag right here. This bag is a mixture of two teaspoons of cinnamon and two tablespoons of sugar. And what we want to do is we take our cookie scoop, we scoop out a nice even scoop of dough, put it in our hands, roll it into a ball, and then we take that and we drop it right 
into this bag. And we give it a little shake and shimmy. And you have a cookie ready to go on the plate. Nice coverage of that cinnamon and sugar. I'm gonna do two of those because these are gonna just be my tester cookies to make sure everything is going to bake correctly and I've got all the ingredients right. So I've got my second ball going in the bag, giving it a little shake. And how perfect is that? We're gonna go ahead and put that on our tray and we're going to put these in the oven it is preheated to 350 degrees, and we're gonna do it for eight to 10 minutes. So I will see you in about eight minutes. It's been eight minutes, our snickerdoodles are out of the oven. And usually with cookies, you wanna let them sit for a little bit, make sure they cool off. Snickerdoodles are best when they are warm and gooey. And what I'm saying is we're just gonna try one right now and try not to burn our mouths. But first, before we eat it, take a look at that beautiful cookie. Remember that kind of plain dough with that cinnamon and sugar? It gets that cracked look on it when it bakes. Beautiful. You want to try some of this one? Oh, it is still warm and gooey. Be careful. It is hot in my fingers. Cheers. Oh. That is a great cookie though. Please try these at home. You will not regret it. Um, join us for more Christmas cookies as we try to make it to 25 different kinds of cookies for our Christmas cookie celebration. Thanks for watching.